Hi YouTube, my name's Drew, and you're watching Drawing with Drew. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I set up my UG1910B drawing monitor. I have recently had my UG2150 as my mainstay. Uh, I've been using that for all my animation and drawing and all that for the last little while, but I find that I get a lot of questions about the UG1910B, so I figure I might as well do my videos using this product since it is a little bit cheaper, a little more affordable for the masses, and uh, more people seem to have questions and trouble with it. So hopefully I can solve some of those. So let's get right into it. If you've been researching these 1910B monitors, you'll know that uh, they have a series of different ports that are underneath here. And this is just a power cord. There's a VGA cable, which I currently have hooked in, and then there's a DVI slot which I will be using because it has a higher um, resolution. Plug in the USB cord here, DVI cord here. I don't believe these come standard with the UG1910Bs. They 100% didn't come standard when I bought it. Although I may have seen one on one of their Amazon sites where they actually include it now. So double check depending on which source you get it from, there might be a DVI cable. But regardless, if you're using a Mac, you are gonna need to use an adapter. It looks like this. If I can find it on Amazon, I'll put a link down below. Uh, if you're using a Wacom product or if you're using another UG product or any other product that requires drivers for uh, pressure sensitivity, uh, you'll need to un uninstall those before installing the drivers for the UG1910B. In order to do that, you'll go to your applications folder on a Mac to the application that says touch tablet. Uh, if you have a UG product installed like me or if you have a Wacom, it should be under there as well and it should be called like Wacom Utility, which then we'll double click on uninstall tablet driver. And just like that, it's uninstalled. So now you're gonna to wanna to go to the UG website to download the appropriate driver uh, for your tablet, in this case, it'll be the 1910B and whether you're using a Windows-based operating system or a Mac. Once there, click the download button at the top right corner and scroll down until you see your UG1910B drawing monitor. and make sure you remember that you're downloading it for the right operating system. Go to your applications if you're on a Mac, go to touch tablet, and then you're going to double click on it and we'll go to the calibration. Okay, at this point you're gonna hit the calibration button and on your UG tablet, you should get uh, a little indicator light right here and you're gonna to need to use your pen and touch the center of it. All right, let's test this out for a few seconds here to show you the pressure sensitivity and how it works. Okay, let's do a little doodling. I'll throw on black here and uh, I'll put it on the pencil tool. We'll zoom in a little bit and uh, I'll just show you how responsive it is. Come in a little closer here for you. I find that even if the cursor is a tiny bit off, uh, you can tweak it by recalibrating it or you just get used to it being a little bit off and you kind of compensate for that. And I know it sounds bad because you want it to be exactly linked up, but when I work on this, uh, I don't notice it after the first you know, minute or two, I'm kind of used to uh, where the cursor is gonna be. So I'm gonna end the video there today, you guys. Uh, I feel like maybe we've uh, kind of covered this setup. I'm gonna be uh, testing it with a bunch of different uh, software. I'm also gonna be doing a lot more drawing with it. So if you're interested in just drawing in general, subscribe to my channel and uh, we can draw together. And I'll see you guys really soon. So thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button.